Hey, it's Naomi here. So today I'm going to do Top 5 Wednesdays. And Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey over on Ginger Eats Lady. But now it's being hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. And I'm going to have everything linked down below just in case you're interested in checking it out. And today's topic for discussion is favorite first sentence in a book. And I'm going to get right into this because I really enjoyed all these books. And sometimes the first sentence does capture my attention into reading the book. Sometimes it takes up to 50 pages. Sometimes it takes up to 100 pages. Sometimes I'm really never immersed that much in the book. But I do want to continue the series because I want to know where does it lead up to. Yes, I know I'm a very weird person but let's get into this list first one that i'm going to mention is sword and verse by kathy mcmillan i really did love this book and i enjoyed it so much for everything that it did entail and the first sentence does say i never knew tiyasha could admit but her execution started everything and that really did immerse me more into the world and knowing everything about our main protagonist was something that was so beautiful to go through because she went through so much and and to develop the way she did was something that i really enjoyed watching her like go through all that and it was a very beautiful story and i really did enjoy it so much the next book that i want to mention is my life at rose red this is the diary of ellen rimbauer and it was written by george weird and i really was immersed in my life for a while in this story also the movie i enjoyed the movie so so much and anything that i wanted to read was about rose red and obviously joyce riordan i looked up a lot of essays and a lot of things and i was really immersed in this world but let me read the first insert in the diary to you it says i find it a somewhat daunting task to endeavor to place my thoughts here inside your trusted pages i scarcely know if i am up to the task but as my head is filled with lurid thoughts and my heart with romance and possibilities, I find I must confide in someone. And so it is to your pages I now turn. I loved it. I enjoyed this. I mean, it, it, it feels like you're snooping in her life. But aside from that, I really did enjoy this story. It was something that captivated me. The next book that I'm going to mention is Aristotle's and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alida Sainz. I love this book. This book was beautiful. I even did five reasons to read Aristotle's and Dante because it was just such a lovely read. I even Instagrammed the first page because the first page, the first sentence immersed me into this world so badly and I just wanted to read so much about it and I just wanted to continue and I couldn't stop and I'm gonna read the first sentence to you it says one summer night I fell asleep hoping the world would be different when I woke ah oh, it I just immersed myself in it and I loved it and I just enjoyed this story so much the next book that I'm gonna mention isn't a surprise to me because it is one of my favorite series and it's funny that I do hear a lot of people that are speaking about it now and that is the kiss of deception by Marie E Pearson I saw I find that I change her name sometimes I say Marie I don't know it's Mary I think it's Mary I'm pretty sure it's Mary but I'm changing her name why I have no idea but anyways the kiss of deception by Marie E Pearson and the first sentence in the chapter was one that really immersed me into this world and the outcome of it and how it's it plays with your mind it was just so beautiful to read this story and it just captivated me and I couldn't put it down and this is one of my favorite series of all times and I'm gonna read the first sentence to you it says today was a day a thousand dreams would die and a single dream would be born that's all I have to say. The next and final book that I'm going to mention is one that I left for last because not only do I like the first sentence, one of the many reasons why I bought this book is because I love the first paragraph. Just alone. I mean, I want to read a story that has a character that sounds like he's witty and I'm going to laugh with him. And the book that I'm talking about is The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. I haven't read any of the other Percy Jacksons. I started with the first, the Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and I really didn't care for it. But I'm going to read the first sentence and the first paragraph because it was just so funny and I was just reading it there and I was just laughing and people were looking at me and I'm like <laughs> I don't care it says my name is Apollo I used to be a god in my 4612 years I have done many things I inflicted a plague on the Greeks who besieged Troy I blessed Babe Ruth with three home run in games four of the 1926 World Series I visited my wrath upon Britney Spears at the 2007 MTV Video Music Awards <laughs> I'm like what the heck am I going to read it's one of the reasons why I really want to immerse myself in this story and I really wanted to start in this series I don't know why I just really don't care about the others it is something that made me want to read this series so I hope to pick it up pretty soon it really does sound very interesting well that's it for all my favorite first sentences in a book if you want to tell me yours feel free we'll chit chat down below I want to thank you for watching and until next time